Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and we got to talk about this new article from Entertainment Weekly. Now, there's possibly a, a, a huge possible spoiler in this, but it also could be nothing at all because it has to do with a lot of bodies being on the ground. And, you know, that could be tons of walkers or just, you know, tons of bodies of uh, the dead that he's come up on. But they say one specific line. So if you don't want to hear anything, you should probably leave now. But I think connecting this to something we know might just be a big deal. It might be a really big deal. As a matter of fact, to bring up a visual um, idea of what I want to showcase, maybe I'll pull up this one cover right here. I won't put it on the screen yet. We'll read the article and then I'll put it on the screen because if this connects to it, man, this could be big. Okay, so Entertainment Weekly had exclusive on-set access for Andrew Lincoln's last day on The Walking Dead. Here's what we saw and what he said about leaving the show. Andrew Lincoln has to keep moving. It's June 26 and the star of one of the biggest series in cable TV history is on the Sonoya, Georgia set of The Walking Dead for his very last day of filming as Rick Grimes. As cameras line up for a scene in which Rick will walk through a pile of bodies, many nameless to The Walking Dead fans, some not so nameless. The man who has been number one on the call sheet for nine seasons paces in the corner of the room, then squats, then sits, then he lies down, and then he's up again. It's a routine to which his classmates, I'm sorry, cast castmates have become well accustomed. Stand, paste, squat, paste, squat, sit, lie down, roll over, rinse and repeat. Now I will go on to read something that's interesting down here, but uh, this is kind of telling. He's going to walk through a pile of bodies. Now normally that would mean a pile of dead walkers. That's it. No big deal, right? Many nameless to the Walking Dead fans. But then they go on to say, some not so nameless. We know John Bernthal came to set filming. And I can't remember if he came to set before Rick's death, an episode before, or the episode where Rick dies. It makes sense it would be the episode Rick dies so he can be at the Last Supper. They do it with all the, the cast and oftentimes, old cast members come in to visit. And correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't Tyrese spotted as well? Wasn't Herschel? I can't remember. I've, I've heard a few people were spotted, and I just thought it was for his, his last supper as an actor. But knowing that he walks through a pile of bodies, comic fans are already probably lighting up. <laughs> and some not so nameless. Remember one of my all-time favorite covers? I'm going to show it to you right now. One of my all-time favorite Walking Dead covers, issue 100. It's where we get the first appearance of Negan. You have Rick standing up. You have all the bodies of everyone who died up until this point. Not everyone, but most of them. And it's like so awesome <laughs> because a lot of them are hidden. There's a secret Easter egg hidden right here. It's Glenn's hat. And Glenn dies in this very issue. You got Tyrese's decapitated head here. You got Andrea. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got Amy here. You got Lori here. You can see her back shot out. You got baby Judith, Judith's arm right here, her little arm. And I made a video discussing the issue one variants, and I broke this issue issue down if you want to type it in. I'll probably try to find the link and I'll put it in this video. But you got the governor, you got Herschel, here's Shane, and I love this how they have Shane, the baby's arm, and then Lori. Because what happened is Lori was running and Lily shot Lori in the back, and it went through Lori and it came through the baby and it shot a hole through both of them. And then Lori fell on top of the baby. So having the little arm between Shane and Lori, I always thought that was Kirkman's little sly way of saying that that was Shane's baby. Anyway, you have a lot of, every character here is from the comic. You got Axel, you got Thomas, the guy, the serial killer who cut uh, Andrea's face. You got Martinez, you got 
Jesse up here and Ron or uh, Sam, I forget. I think it, it was Ron in the... I forget now. It doesn't matter. You got um, uh, Billy and Herschel's kids and you got Douglas Monroe, the leader of Al Alexandria in the comic book. Uh, there's a riot helmet up here. That was a big part of the story. Uh, there's a few different... If you look through these, like I said, I broke these down, but there's so many different little hidden ones. I think this is the guy from the prison arc. Uh, here's another guy here. I forget. Here's the twins, Billy and... Um, uh, what's his name? Here's uh, I'm trying to look through to get them all. We got Morgan here, but anyway, I I, I just want to show you a few of them. There's a ton of different people hidden all throughout here. I even forget the placement of some of them. I did a, like I said, I did a real good video showing that off. But if they could recreate this cover in Rick Grimes' last moments, there's something. <laughs> absolutely like epic about that that idea like whoa visually even if it's symbolically even i'm sorry even if it's a very symbolic he's dying and he pictures this you know walking me walking and there's all the bodies there i don't know how they would do that recreate the cover or he just walks through kind of like tyrese's death where he was visioning people remember he he visioned lizzie and uh, mika he had a vision of the governor and then the the hunter or whatever one of the the cannibals i don't know there's something powerful about that anyway this goes on i'll put a link to the article this goes on to talk about his his uh setup before he films some of it's interesting we'll read a little bit but you can read the entire article as he works his way through his regimen, Lincoln also intermittently crones the lyrics to Annie uh, Lanou's No More I Love You's. I'm going to have to look that up. Playing on his iPhone earbuds. Uh, yep, so many monsters, both human and inhuman, Lincoln has battled over the course of the series. But that time is coming to an end in a few short hours, which explains the hugs from cast members like Norman Reedus and Jeffrey Dean Morgan that seem to punctuate every complete take. The scene finally begins filming, but Lincoln is pissed at himself. Effin' come on, he screams out. Effin' bullshit. Andy, F this. Wait an effin' minute. Well, observers on set have seen variations of this before. Ever the perfectionist, Lincoln will do whatever it takes to get in the right frame of mind for a scene, including verbally and sometimes physically punishing himself right before a take. Later that day, he will literally pull down the roof of a set right on top of himself while filming but they haven't seen what happens next a quiet vulnerability as the magnitude of the moment hits the actor square in the face i'm scared man lincoln whimpers i'm nervous f it's over man this is it it's over it is over eight years after entering atlanta on horseback only to watch that horse get devoured by zombies andrew lincoln is riding off into the sunset he has been the face, well, the human face, at least, of cable TV's record-breaking drama, turning Robert Kirkman and Toni Moore's comic book into a cultural phenomenon and the network that adapted it for television, AMC, into a major player. But it was another audience that drove the 45-year-old's decision to leave after a handful of episodes this fall. The plain and simple answer is that it was the right time for my family, says Lincoln of his wife and two children back in England. The fact of the matter is, I can shut off my heart f for a good distance, and I've had to do that for eight years, but I have to come home. It's a very painful decision, but it's the right decision. Man, it's a decision that will actually first put into motion... Oh, oh I'm sorry, we already went over this. It's a decision that was put, put into motion five years ago. This is when they were talking about... Uh, season four and stuff like that about ending his run in season eight we already went over that now they don't cover daryl dixon says there was a moment when he was done filming where he got up and gave this speech and they were going to record it and he says we're going to keep that to ourselves entertainment weekly was there but they don't mention any of that at all so it does kind of look like maybe they did in fact be in the press they did honor Andrew Lincoln's wishes, at least in this article, and they didn't talk about that at all. But for comic book fans especially, tell me, do you think that could be possible? They could symbolically recreate the cover of issue 100 
to make some epic. A lot of us were wondering how we're going to see Shane again. You know what I'm saying? Could that be it? Could they have done some type of death hallucination where he does see all the bodies of everyone we've lost over the, the course of the series? And it might not just be a few of them. It could be a, a bunch of them. I mean, damn, we could get Glenn back again. We could get uh, Herschel back again, Lori even. That I think that would be so amazing. I just don't know how they would film it. If it was a movie and they got a huge budget, I think something truly amazing could be, you know, if they were going to film it with a lower budget, it could be something like having the bodies on the side of a hill and then Rick walking up. That's if they were going to do a recreation of the cover. I don't want them, I don't need them to go that crazy, but I am super excited if they do some kind of uh, symbolic recreation of that cover. I think that would be, oh man, I think that would be so awesome. You guys put your thoughts and opinions down in that comment box below. Oh my God. Let me know what you think. And also behind this video, come back to the channel and keep an eye out because in about an hour or so, I'm going to post why they really killed off Madison from Fear the Walking Dead. I think I hit it dead on, dead on. If you guys have any other thoughts and opinions, let me know. But I think that upcoming video, it's, it's on the money. Anyway, thoughts and opinions about Andrew Lincoln's final scenes, moments, who we're going to see in that pile of bodies. Put those down in the comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn.